Yeah, this is our new SP2 cylinder head that we're about to release. Here's a couple of the things that we do to it, make life easier for everyone. So as you note here, all push rod clearances are all done, ready to go. Down here, all the oil drain back holes are all full radius in the machines. So then over this side here, we've got the water going into the center of the cylinder where sometimes on Chevys that becomes soft. So we, if you can get the camera in there, we've got the two holes that come in through here. So we bring the water in here from the water pump. Um, if we undo that, if it's not too much trouble, should have a tube in here. Tube goes in, drill, drill up here on an angle, comes up into here. Got the two holes that get drilled through here. Go meet it here. So obviously the tube goes in there. So line comes from your water pump in here, pumps through here and out through the two holes to keep this section here cool. Uh, it's a big problem with um, a lot of Chevys with the two exhaust ports through here. So this is a job we do here, like before you buy heads, so you don't have to send it out to get done. It's already done for you. Same as like we do with the push rods. Push rod clearance is all done through here. They'll fit like a 716. Um, with the right, um, right lifted rocker combo, probably fit a half inch push rod. So this is actually the, the 2.8 cross-sectional cylinder head, or the port that we do. And actually you can see, if, you, if we bring this one over here, you actually, can you see, see the difference in there? That's our 3.3 version. And we also have a 3.5 version, which is slightly bigger than that one. Again, everything's done for you. Push rod's done. Drain backs, your water, and that will have a different exhaust port in it, which we're going to have like several different port configurations. And then the manifold, this is the manifold we do. So when you buy this combo with all, with all our head and manifold combos, it's coming fully CNC ported. This is the Chev one, so it comes full CNC ported as you can see. Match ported here as well to the cylinder head. Obviously, um, we'll have different uh, decks as well. Like you'll have your nine inch, you know, tall deck ones. This one's obviously an injected one. So it'll come injected, non injected. And all the flanges, all the flanges get detailed. So this is what you're paying for. So, so you do not have to send this out. This is, this is how you will get your cylinder heads and your manifold all ready to go like that. Take them to your engine builder of choice and away you go. To do something like this could cost you twelve, fifteen hundred dollars extra, but it's already done for you here. The, the manifolds come fully CNC ported, so everything is repeatable. Like like you could buy this manifold today, and you could buy it in two years' time, and it will be the same. We don't rely on the casting to be for our accuracy. We we rely on the CNC machines for our accuracy. And this one here we have here is our Ford manifold for our Cleveland heads. Again, CNC ported through here. Doesn't touch the floor in this one. All this is done, all CNC, matched up here as well, all port matched. Bit of lightning done for you guys. Again, take this to a, um, a head porter, you know, manifold man. He'd probably charge you, I don't know, maybe a thousand bucks to do something like that. So it comes finished with the Ford heads. Actually, here's our Ford head here. This one's done for a turbo. It's got the ch chamber softening we do for the turbos. Another thing um, we do again here, we do push rod clearances again, all done, ready to go. A couple of other little things again, oil drain back holes are done. This is, this is our new version with our um, rocker rails are, are fully um, from, run from one end of the head to the other end of the head. They join into the manifold face here just for, this is, this is done just for super rigidity of the uh, rocker system. You must have this top end of your head rigid as possible with, with, um, with these engines. And another little thing we've done here is we, we've gone away from the brass NPT fittings. We put an O-ring um, fitting in for you guys just to make it easier for you. And this one here is just our NA one. No, no chamber softening. But everything's finished, like seats done, guides done, ready to go. We're running a threaded plug now instead of a uh, Walsh plug just to make life a bit easier and nicer. This is our, um, also our LS, six bolt LS head. This has actually got turbo, turbo heads as well with a softening chamber as well. This is our, actually our new port for 2020. Well, late 2020, probably going into 2021. This one's a cross-sectional area of three inch, 
float flow on over 400 CFM, 2.230 valve, 1.6 valve. Again, comes fully fully finished, all the all the normal stuff that we do here at Higgins Raceheads. Push rods done. They'll, they'll take a, a 716 push rod, no worries. Guides, everything's finished. Finished, guides finished, ready to go, ready to bolt on. This is the LS7. This is, this is the difference between the LS7 ports and the LS3 ports. LS3 come out on all, all, all our factory cars in Australia. I, I believe the LS7 head's a better cylinder head. It's a lot better line of sight. It's a higher port. But in saying that, there's a lot of people out there with factory manifolds, billet manifolds, they've already got them done. So we offer the LS3 so that they can bolt straight on without purchasing a new uh, manifold. I know, as you see, as you see in the videos, we were a big believer of our um, tie valves. We, we use a lot of Exeldyne valve train. Um, as you see, that's a titanium valve. So we can supply all your titanium valves through Exeldyne, great company to work with. So again, here's our LS3 port. We, we, we do this in two versions as well. So you've got your LS3 here that takes a Crower um, steel bodied rocker with a big 716 studs to hold the bar on. And then if you come to this one, you'll see the difference here. LS3 port again, takes a factory LS7 rocker. And again, also available in an LS7 port, factory rockers again. All these heads that you've seen today are all manufactured in Australia all machined in-house here at Higgins Racing.